We're used to discussing vitamin B12, iodine and omega-3 deficiencies on a plant-based diet, but I don't think these two nutrients have been discussed before in terms of deficiencies, so it's really important we look at this. Stay tuned till the end of the video as we highlight some of the best foods to tackle these insufficiencies. But first, let's take a look at the brand new study that raised the alarm published in April 2025. Researchers analysed detailed four-day food diaries kept by 193 long-term vegans living in New Zealand. They used information from the USDA and the New Zealand Food Files database to calculate participants' intake of different amino acids from the different foods they ate. Their analysis showed that roughly around three quarters of participants met daily total protein requirements. However, crucially when considering digestibility, only about half of the participants met daily requirements for two really important amino acids, and they were lysine and leucine. While our bodies can synthesize some amino acids that we need to live, we completely rely on the foods we eat to provide nine essential amino acids that we can't make ourselves. And both leucine and lysine are classified as essential amino acids, which means we must get them through food. The reason this research is so significant is because prior research on protein in plant-based diets haven't considered specific amino acids, nor the digestibility of different foods, which means that not all of what we eat, including amino acids, is fully utilised by our body. So what this highlights is just because we may be meeting our total daily protein requirements, it doesn't necessarily mean we're meeting all of our essential amino acid requirements. The scientists are therefore calling for future research to explore how intake of leucine and lysine could be boosted for vegans in a nutritionally balanced manner. The authors add, vegan diets are the most restrictive form of plant-based eating, relying entirely on plant sources for all nutrients. Achieving high protein quality on a vegan diet requires more than just consuming enough protein. It also depends on the right balance and variety of plant foods to supply all the amino acids in the quantities that our body needs. Prolonged deficiencies in these essential nutrients can negatively affect overall protein balance, muscle maintenance, and other physiological functions, especially in more vulnerable populations. In our study, lysine and leucine were the most commonly under-consumed amino acids in our vegan cohort and fall below the daily requirements needed by the body. This is because many plant foods generally contain lower quantities of these amino acids that can be absorbed and utilised by the body. However, the inclusion of legumes, nuts and seeds emerged as valuable plant sources, not only to support overall protein intake but also to specifically increase lysine and leucine quantities in a vegan diet. Okay, so what foods are highest in leucine and lysine? Well, soy products come out on top as they contain good amounts of both leucine and lysine. So we're talking tofu, tempeh and edamame beans. Quinoa is another good one as it contains both leucine and lysine. Then lentils and kidney beans have a decent amount of leucine and hemp and chia seeds are good sources of lysine. The reason we mustn't ignore this is leucine and lysine have crucial roles in our body. Leucine is important for protein synthesis, muscle repair and blood sugar regulation, while lysine is vital for building muscle, maintaining bone strength and supporting calcium absorption, hormone production and energy metabolism. I use Chronometer to track my amino acids, but really any free nutrition tracking website or app will work. Next, we'll discuss whether those of us on a plant-based diet need to seriously consider supplementing with zinc or not. To view that video, you can click the middle of the screen now.